November 25th, a wave of anticipation swept through the atmosphere as individuals from tertiary institutions across Nigeria's geopolitical zones arrived, united by curiosity and a shared vision for impact. The journey began amidst the energy of the opening event, with each speaker painting vivid possibilities of what laid ahead. The problems of the society are supposed to be solved by you. If you understand that no research that you should do should be a waste, that your research efforts should be directed towards solving a problem that is identified in the society within the boundaries of your research and interests and competencies, you now know why we still have many problems in our society. The tone wasn't just an introduction. It was an invitation into an ecosystem built for innovation and transformative impact. We can use the idea generated here to form a good product that can be very good to the public. Participants explore the act of collaboration. Raw ideas crystallized into actionable solutions through structured activities that fostered creativity, teamwork, and iteration. This experience has been so awesome. And I, and I believe it's also the same with all participants. We really discover the hidden ability that has been lying there fallow. Especially for me, I never believe qualitative research is as important also as quantitative. Day four intertwined emotional intelligence, startup operating models, and agile prototyping. Participants explored empathetic design and sustainability, creating solutions that matters. Even if I walk out of that game, but don't slap me or somebody slaps me, I will smile. But don't try it. <laughs> anyway, a lot of us spend so much time living somebody else's life. Instead of understanding themselves, this is my ability, this is my capacity, this is who I am, and this is who I want to be. Nigeria is in dear need of it. And we have been taught, you can't be in an environment, an institution cannot be in an environment, and the people around keep suffering. Yes, we must be responsible, we must bring solution right to the door of our host community. And that is what we have learned here. And more than that, me as an engineer, all we conduct is quantitative research. I have, been, I have learned to shift from ordinary quantitative research to qualitative research, you know. Hands-on prototyping and public speaking took center stage. Participants advanced their concept while honing their pitching skills, transforming ideas into compelling narratives. Today, we learned about public speaking, how to deliver a successful pitch, and effectively make use of the teleprompter for effective communication. The size of what I'm going to do, the motto that we turn it, the spatula and everything. So HLD takes it that level detailed, but for rapid prototyping, just catch it. But you need to ask yourself one question, am I creating this just to say I have created? I think if that's the case, then our purpose is defeated. But now, what makes your innovation stand outside from the conventional or what is available in the market? That's what you should consider from the early stage of conceptualization. Okay, today's class talked about emotional intelligence and we moved to the Wallace Inca studio for our pitch session and the pitch session was sensational amazing and thrilling and we had fun at the end of the day thank you practicality meets purpose on day six participants evaluated the visibility of ideas ensuring alignment with real world needs and user-centric value mentorship is very very important in any field that's how to build collaborations partnerships and investments from the government sector. Day 7 was a masterclass in safeguarding ideas and enabling impact. 
sessions on intellectual property and technology transfer equipped participants to protect and scale their innovations. Participants tackle the reality of doing business in Nigeria, mastering strategies to navigate challenges, embrace change and scale their concept into impactful ventures. At day nine, participants explored incubation strategies, market alignment and partnership frameworks. On the 10th day, Participants at R4I 28 rested, not out of fatigue, but in triumph. From curiosity to capability, the 28th cohort had transformed ideas into innovation with the power to reshape Nigeria's future. From the research for impact initiative, initiate, initiative, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Over 300 million tons of plastic, 300 million tons of plastic waste are produced. Yes. She didn't say that way. Okay, I should. Yes, you don't even say something. Yeah. Yes. Come down. Yeah, don't worry, you see that. Don't it will come. To okay. okay. Private hub for the technological expertise. Sorry, ma. You called his name. Her you name. Her name. Her name. Yeah. Her name is not here. Really? Oh. It has been, it has been, it has been, oh, that's true. So you just, maybe we just, yeah, let's start all over. It's the, it's the energy. Did you know Nigeria has? We need You don't even need to tell me that is who I am. You will even get tired and tell me to drop the hands. Okay. Is that me that you are seeing there? Can't I see myself so that I know how, how? Sorry. You're not start I've started now. <laughs> I cannot repeat that one again. <laughs> so it's just basically to make them imagine. I should add I should add bars in my voice. That is what you are saying. How? By yet another power outage. Got 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 because with tree track, we don't just plant trees, we grow hope. Wow. Wow, that was beautiful, 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 beautiful. Well done, sir. Oh, Michael, thank you very much. And cuts.